Hi everyone, so this month's lesson is over winter squash. If you remember, last month's lesson was over apples. So we're gonna talk about some nutrition facts and some fun facts about squash. So to start out, squash is a great source of vitamin C. If you remember from last um, month, our apple video, apples were also a great source of vitamin C. Can you remember what vitamin C is good for? It's great for our immune system help keeping us healthy, fighting off germs, keeping us or getting us back to being healthy when we're sick. Squash is also a great source of fiber. Fiber is great for our digestive system. We want to keep our digestive system healthy. Our digestive system makes up like our stomach, our small intestine, our large intestine, and this is where all of our nutrients from our food is absorbed. So it's very important to keep our digestive system healthy. And vitamin A. Vitamin A isn't a nutrient that we've talked about yet, but I'm sure you'll see it again. Vitamin A is great for our eyes. That way we can see good. Now, some fun facts about squash include, um, like Michigan is ranked number three in the country for the top producing squash um, state. And um, they produce, or Michigan produces about 136 million pounds of squash every year. That's crazy. So some squash include like the acorn squash, right? So it kind of looks like an acorn. And it always, usually always has this like orange spot on it and it's mostly green. Um, we also have squash like our butternut squash, squash, which is a little bit more orange in color. And it's like long and it's got a fatter end at one side. And then also the butternut or the spaghetti squash which is usually more oval and yellow. And then when you bake it and you pull it apart, it looks like spaghetti noodles. That's why we call it spaghetti squash. Now it doesn't taste like spaghetti, but it looks like spaghetti. Now, did you know squash, like acorn squash, are related to melons? So melons like watermelons and cantaloupes, muskmelon, all that good stuff. Squash and melons are related. Who knew? Um, they're also part of the cucurbit family, which includes gourds. So gourds are those um, like funny looking pumpkins that you can find at the store as well. They usually have like bumps all over them. Um, so gourds, cucumbers, squash, pumpkins, and melons are all considered in the same family. Now, um, it's called winter squash because even though it's picked in the fall, um, it can last uncooked throughout the winter. So a lot of people grow winter squash right throughout the summer and the fall. They pick it in the fall and then they usually, you can still eat it in the fall when you pick it or if you keep it in like a cool dry place, it will stay good pretty much all winter long. Squash can stay good for a very long time, which is great because especially in our winter months when we can't grow Right, we can't usually have a garden outside unless you have like a greenhouse or something. So this is where you can grow your own food and it can help stay good all winter long. Um, and the world record for the largest pumpkin was grown in Belgium and it weighed 2,624 pounds. That is so big. I will include a picture at the end of this video because I cannot believe how big this pumpkin was. So that includes our nutrition facts and our fun facts about squash. Now, I challenge you to go out and try a new squash that you haven't tried before. This month's recipe is um, apple filled squash, which is one of my favorites. It's so easy to make and it's so delicious. So I'm sure you guys have all tried pumpkin. Maybe, maybe not. So if you haven't, go try a pumpkin, go try an acorn squash, butternut squash. They're all great. 